18 year old female, status post motor vehicle accident, the broken left femur, current bottle signs, heart rate is 120, respiratory rate is 16, systolic blood pressure 100. We heard this helicopter on the helipad, and all of us were called into one of the trauma rooms, which at that time was rather infrequently utilized, and were shown a slideshow of this program in Denver called Flight for Life. And they all said, we're gonna do this here. And I remember thinking, well, I'm gonna have a good time watching you all do that. <laughs> there was no GPS, there was no night vision goggles. We literally flew with maps and- The key map. I, the key map. Which the flight nurse would have the, the key, key map. map. Okay, take a ride. <laughs> the person on top, had to be small enough to fit in an area this big, had headsets on, not connected to anything. And when they get out, they say, how do you like the flight? And you go, I guess you did fine, because I, I made it here. Never forget, we loaded the patient and stuff, and the pike over and said, you all can't come. And I was like, what does that mean? I was fine until the helicopter lifted, and I'm sitting there going, what, what? So many of us contributed to the framework of this program, but it was Marguerite who really put us on the map. She was just a woman with class. She got on that helicopter. She had her own set of earphones, so they wouldn't well, mess she up her hair. She headset because she didn't want her hair messed up. She was remarkable. She really was the core that everyone came around. Between Dr. Duke and the fact that you've got this new helicopter program in all of the television stations, Marguerite was there with the day-to-day -day operations, building what we have today. But the public ate him up. He could talk to patients. They loved him. They'd be shocked when they heard that it was the Dr. Red Duke who was actually taking care of their loved ones. And he had that passion for life lights mm -hmm. right up to the day that he passed away. When I came to work here, Kathy, as professional as you were, and Rose, and Dr. Duke, and Marguerite, and the environment being here and just being embraced by a city this large was something I never had anticipated. What's our latest transport? How many patients now? 100 and what? 150,000. 150,000 patients we have touched their life directly. That's not counting the families, etc., that we've touched indirectly, right? So when you look at that impact, oh my goodness. I never would have thought we would ever need life flight. Oh, we saw it in the air, but thank God it was there because he's, he's doing great now. Everyone knows that if someone has to be life flighted, it's not good. And knowing that she was jogging and was hit by a car, that's not good. It's been a whole team of people that has gotten her where she is today. I just thank them from the bottom of my heart. July 3rd, 1987, um, I was traveling with my grandmother to see a local fireworks show. About a week after that, woke up in the hospital and, and learned I'd been in an accident and, and uh, was transported by Life Flight. It did change me in probably more ways than I even know or understand. It inspired me to help people and, and so I followed that, that path. We have Life Flight. We had the doctors there. We had the perfect nurses. All of these angels were put there that day so that we could have our son. I'm able to, to be a husband, father, and son. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for Life Flight. I thank God for Life Flight, as I thank God that she is here today with us, because I don't know where I would be if she wasn't here. Life Flight will, will always be close. You know, you'll hear the helicopter when you're out, and you all of a sudden you'll stop and you'll look up and go, oh wow, there they go. It still gives me goosebumps. I think that having been part of this program has made me a lot of what I am today. You were part of something that was beyond yourself. We know that red helicopter in that sky, and we know exactly what they're doing. 
and we say a little prayer every single time. 